In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a region from some of the geometry parts that we have made, or from this geometry part, and how to assign different physics to those different regions. So if you look over here in the regions menu, there's nothing, there's no node next to it because we haven't created anything yet. So the way we're gonna go about this is we're gonna go up here and select our specific geometry part, water. Um, this is not to be confused with the CAD model um, up here. We want specifically the geometry part. Um, and so it's also important to, to note that we already created these different surfaces. Uh, we split those by patch in a previous video, if you want to look up how to do that. So we are going to right click on this water geometry part and select Assign Parts to Regions. Now, a menu should pop up, and um, in this case, we're usually going to create a region for each part and create a boundary for each part surface. That's why we split by patch, so that each of those surfaces can have different physics, and, um, and we'll get to that in a second. The rest of these, men or of these uh, menus can be left at default conditions, and we'll click Apply. And that created a, a region. Um, I'll show you that over here in a second. Peter is thinking. There we go. So if you look here, now we've got a region called water. That's based on our geometry part up here. Now, if I go into this water node, um, first off, when I, when I click, when I left click on the water node, it shows me down here that it's of a type fluid region, and its physics continua is water, as you can see there. And it's referencing the part, the geometry part, water. Now, if we had a different, uh, if we had multiple physics continua in this, in this um, simulation, then we could make this maybe a, a solid aluminum part or something like that. But then in this case, we have it selected as water. Now, let's say that for this model, I want to apply a heat source um, acting as if this cylinder that we cut out of our uh, water was a rod, like we've kind of discussed from the beginning. This rod, um, we're going to give it a boundary condition because we're not actually modeling the rod. We are only modeling the water. The rod is just a void space. But we can pretend like the rod is there by setting boundary conditions to this inner cylinder. So we're going to do that by selecting boundaries over here. And we're going to say rod bottom, physics conditions. And let's make that a little bigger. As you can see, there are a couple of different options here. We're going to keep it simple with just a thermal specification. It's set to adiabatic down here. But let's change that to be a constant temperature. All right, and then that changing that from adiabatic has created this new menu called physics values. And we're gonna change that static temperature to be, let's give it a, a pretty hot temperature. Let's say 400, um, actually that, we don't want the water to boil. Let's stick with um, 370 Kelvin, just under boiling. So what this is doing is this, this temperature here is applying to the bottom, the rod bottom part, or I'm sorry, surface. Um, and that is making, when we actually run the simulation, that, that surface you see there will be constantly at this temperature, 370 degrees Kelvin. Now, we're gonna do the same to the rod sides. So we go in, physics con conditions, thermal specification, and change this to temperature. Then go into our new menu, change the static temperature to 370 Kelvin. And there we go. Now we have some heated, a heated rod in the middle of our water part. Um, and in the next video, I'm going to show you a little bit more of what different things you can do uh, in this region menu.